Jennifer, straight ahead. Jennifer, straight ahead. Straight ahead. Jennifer, can I go? Jennifer for the ladies. On the end for the ladies. Jennifer, right up front. One more on the end. Iman on the end, please. Dakota, right here, please. Dakota, right here, please. Dakota, right here. Dakota, straight ahead, please. Right here. Hand Dakota up. Hand Dakota up. Hand Dakota up. This is like the natural. I mean, that's a thing. I hear you. I hear you. Sarah, right here for the ladies. Right here, please. And then, straight ahead. And Sarah, can I get you? Thank you. You know, to be honored for something, for, for philanthropy, and especially for... Uh, for somebody and an organization like Save the Children that really has been at the forefront, uh, advocates for children and chil children who are also in war-torn countries and also across whether it's the United States or international, really, it doesn't matter. They are the advocates for children across the world. We often see the best of people in America during crises. We're a generous, warm people, and we continue to give even when we think we have nothing else left. Save the Children represents that very same spirit, always present when families the world over are their most vulnerable during wars, after earthquakes, tornadoes, typhoons, and, and, and more. And the ladies will tell you all about that. Poverty may wear different faces across the country, but wherever children are in need, there you will find Save the Children. Now you're thinking, why is she tearing up? Because this is where it comes to. My husband, David, was also a staunch supporter of human rights and devoted an innumerable amount of time and resources, which he chose to do it anonymously. I shared this award with him, knowing that the fire in him lit the fire in me, and vice versa. Good partnerships have a habit of doing that. So while this work is never done, I'm grateful and humbled by this recognition. And thank you for many, many times over. Thank you.